Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, I'm going to go over the top 10 most useful apps of Zoho One. Zoho One is a suite of 40 plus applications that you can use to run your business, but today we're going to focus on the top 10 most useful ones, in my opinion. I have been using Zoho One for two years now and helped several different companies to implement Zoho One from scratch. So in this list, I'm sharing the apps that most of my clients want to use. All right, let's get started. At number one, we actually have two apps, Zoho CRM and Zoho Begin. We have two apps, but the category is CRM. Depending on what business you have, you can either use Zoho CRM or Begin. Zoho CRM is more advanced and can do a lot, but Begin has all the bases covered. You can use this to keep your leads, contacts, accounts, and deals in the same place, as well as manage your sales process, track your leads, keep your conversations with your clients in one place, and a lot more. If you're not using a CRM yet, this could be a game changer for your business. Apps similar to Zoho CRM are HubSpot CRM, Salesforce, and Pipedrive. At number two, we have Zoho Books. This app lets you manage all your finances in one place. It is similar to apps like QuickBooks and Xero. You can have all your clients in one place and send them invoices, create estimates, track expenses, and register payments, and it also integrates with a lot of banks and electronic payment systems like PayPal or Stripe. It is very customizable, allowing you to add your own branding to the invoices or any other document that you send, as well as creating email templates, editing the documents layout, and a lot more. It also integrates really well with other Zoho apps like Zoho CRM and Zoho Projects. Speaking of Zoho Projects, at number three, we have Zoho Projects. You will use this app if you want to track any projects that you do for your company. It can be an internal project like moving to a new office or a work project. For example, if you work for a construction company, you can plan how to build a house for your client. You can add milestone tasks and subtasks and they will have start dates, due dates, priority and a lot more relevant information that will help you track all you need to complete the project. Another feature is budget and time tracking. You can set up a budget for each project and also track time against each task so you can see when you're approaching the budget limit. Apps similar to projects are Azana, ClickUp, and Monday.com. At number four, we have Zoho Sign. With Zoho Sign, you can send documents that require a signature like contracts, agreements, and proposals. You can upload your own documents and add the signature area to them. You can also add fields that you can manually complete when signing the document or automatically populate if you use Zoho CRM and have the integration set up. Zoho Sign is similar to DocuSign, but it's not a proposal management software like Pandadoc. The difference is that with Pandadoc, you can add dynamic content like optional items on the price table and the signer can interact with the table before signing. When you send a document with Zoho Sign, the signer can only fill out the required fields, if any, and sign the document. If you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button and consider subscribing. It helps me a lot deciding on what videos I should do next. All right, back to the list. At number five, we have Zoho Desk. This is a really important app if you sell products or services that require any kind of customer support. With Soho Desk, you will be able to set up a ticket system that lets you centralize and solve any open tickets that your customers generate. For example, if you offer IT services, your clients can use your portal to submit issues or questions that they have, and your technicians will be able to tackle the incoming tickets one by one. You can also create a knowledge database where you can create articles that show solutions to the most common issues, so your customers can troubleshoot those issues on their own. Apps similar to Desk are Zendesk and Freshdesk. At number six, we have Zoho Work Drive. This is a cloud storage solution where you can upload any files you want so you can access them using the internet, either from your computer, tablet, or phone. Here, you can create your personal folders as well as team folders so you can easily share files with your coworkers. Similar apps are Dropbox or Google Drive. Also, in Zoho Work Drive, you can create Word documents, spreadsheets, and presentations using the Zoho Office Suite apps that are included with Zoho Work Drive. Also, Work Drive has a Window and Mac client if you want to sync your files with your computer. At uh, number seven, we have Zoho Flow. This is a connector app that allows you to connect other apps to each other so they can share data and perform different actions. 
For example, you can automatically add a lead to Soho CRM when a person registers to an event in Calendly. A new invitee in Calendly would be the trigger of the workflow and the lead creation in Soho CRM is the action. You can add multiple steps to the workflows you create as well as connecting different apps. So far, it works with more than 600 apps and they keep adding more and more. Zoho Flow is really helpful when there is no native integration available between two apps that you need to connect. The eighth place on this list is for Zoho Campaign. With Zoho Campaign, you can automate your email marketing campaigns as well as create email workflows so you can send the right emails to your customers and leads. If you send emails to your contact database, you can automate the entire process using Zoho Campaigns. Just create the email templates, create your contacts list or segment, and send a campaign that will track when someone opens or click on the emails you sent. It integrates with Zoho CRM so you can see what customers interacted with your emails and take action in the CRM. Also with workflows, you can perform different actions depending on the user behavior. For example, if the user clicks on a link about shoes, the next email to be sent is gonna be about shoes. Or if the user clicks on a shirt, then the next email is going to be about shirts. Similar apps are Active Campaign and HubSpot Marketing Hub. At number nine, we have Zoho Click. This is a great chat app that you can use to chat with your team members, as well as creating group chats, organization channels, start voice calls, video calls, and screen sharing sessions. It is very flexible and customizable, and you can do a lot at a chat level, like sending GIFs, emojis, pictures, and files. And you can even add chatbots that will help you with automations and getting information from other apps. This app is becoming more and more popular and it integrates with a lot of other Soho apps. So you can access your chats while you are using the CRM or projects. Similar apps are Slack or Microsoft Teams. The last app on this list is Soho Bookings. With Bookings, you can create a booking page that your clients or contacts can use to schedule meetings or phone calls with you. The app will make sure that there are no double bookings and that you have enough time between meetings. You can customize it a lot, creating different pages based on the type of meeting as well as the meeting length. And you can even process payments if you use the app for consultations. It integrates with other Zoho apps like Zoho CRM and Zoho Meetings, as well as with some video conferencing apps like Zoom or Google Meet. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. And I would like to know if you're currently using any of the Zoho apps or you're considering to start using Zoho One. In the description next to the like button, I will leave a few other videos that might interest you. So please check them out. Thanks for watching.